Welcome back to my kitchen, guys. Uh, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, look what we got going on here today. It's been a long time since we used the stone waves, so I'm bringing them out. And uh, I'm inspired by this picture that my cousin Tanya actually displayed on Facebook this past week, which was kind of shocking because I hadn't seen it in a long time. Here, let me pause right here and give you a shot of the photo so you can look at it. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. I must have been eight or nine years old. But all I see is the chocolate cake in the left hand corner. Yeah. <laughs> That was me when I was eight or I mean nine or ten. I don't remember, but you know, my grandma made the best chocolate layer cake. She'd make red velvet cakes that'd be layered. That one looks like it's at least eight to ten layers there. She would make twelve layer cakes. It was amazing, man. I wish I would have just paid more attention in the kitchen when I was in there with her because she always knew how to do it. She had the technique down. She could do it in her sleep. We're going to make a chocolate layered cake, four layer cake. We're going to need some flour. I'm going to give you all the directions down here below in the, in the, uh, the video description and in, in the comments. Uh, we're going to need some baking powder and we're going to need some salt. We're going to need sugar. There's four tablespoons of sugar. Uh, actually we have about, uh, six tablespoons of flour. I've got four tablespoons of butter. We've got one egg. I've got three tablespoons of milk. We have, uh, a, a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract and the measurements for the um, baking powder mixed with the salt that's about a fourth and a fourth together so a fourth of baking powder fourth of salt so now that being said let's get right to this y'all the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take our butter put it in our bowl here we're going to go ahead and put our sugar in there, just like that. Got the hand mixer. Since I don't have a mixer anymore, I'm just going to use our hand mixer. We'll go ahead and turn this on, and we'll blend the sugar and the butter together. That's what your butter should look like with the sugar mixed in. Now we're going to go ahead and take our one egg. And let me tell you, this is a, an egg not from the grocery store, but from a local gal that... that grows these eggs she doesn't grow them her chickens do but man these eggs are so much better than than your normal egg but we'll go ahead and beat the egg in with our butter and sugar now that now we'll go ahead and put our vanilla extract in there and we'll blend that in i'm going to go ahead and this is our baking powder and our salt i'm going to go ahead and put that just right in there with the flour i should combine this but i'm not I'm going to just dump little bits of this in at a time and mix it in there. The batter is a little too thick. You can go ahead and add some milk in it right now at this point. I've gone ahead and buttered our stone waves, the inside, very liberally. You can see that there, guys. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and, and pour our batter in each one of these so they'll be even across the, the plane there. As you know what we do now, we'll go ahead and put our lids on our stone wave. I'll move right over here to our microwave and I'll set this for maybe two minutes, maybe two minutes and 30 seconds since we're cooking two in there. We'll go ahead and open this up, grab our little stone waves here. We'll place those in there, make sure that we place them as close to the sides as we possibly can. You know, our cakes are in the microwave. Uh, we got time to make our icing. I'm looking around. I don't have any cocoa. I don't have any chocolate chips. I don't have any any chocolate at all that I'm aware of. But check this out. I'm going to show you something really quickly here. You're going to be in disbelief over this. One cup of granulated sugar. One fourth of a cup of that chocolate powdered liquid. That I mean stuff. The powdered stuff that you put in milk and you make that chocolate milk it's that quick stuff quarter cup of that one quarter cup of milk one quarter cup of butter 
I'm going to grab my spoon here and we're going to start mixing this up. This is what it looks like when you have it stirred up there. Ah, but I almost forgot. I wanted some texture in this. So I've got like a quarter cup of pecans. I'm just going to add right in there because, you know, there's nothing. You can put pe peanuts, almonds, whatever you have in here. Okay. There's nothing like a nice little texture element to chocolate. Just really just spark it off. So there we go. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to let it boil for one minute. When it gets to that boil, it's just going to boil for one minute. I'm going to cut that power completely off right then and there. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and turn this off right now. Just add a tad bit of a vanilla, about a tablespoon of vanilla. That's all we need. I'm going to let that, I'm going to stir that in. And then what I'm going to do is let this partially cool our Chocolate has uh, cooled down now. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, mixing this until it's a spreadable consistency. Probably about three minutes. Okay, I got to tell you, I'm smelling this. And uh, it's only been maybe two minutes at the most. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these out of here. And give them a quick look and see if they're okay. Because they are smelling like cake to me. <laughs> and that's what we're... That's what we're aiming for. All right. I have it to the consistency that I want it. It's kind of soupy, and that's what we want, because we want to be able to spread it really nicely on our... There's one cake right there, and I'm going to go ahead and turn out the second cake. Let me tell you this, in case you're doing this at home. When you try to get these out, if you, you know, flip it out on its own and you have an issue with it not coming out, just take a spoon, gently run it around the sides here, and then run it underneath, you know, just in certain sections like that, until you feel like it's released from your stone wave, and then you'll just go ahead and dump it out just like that, and there you go. That's what we need, right? Well, you guys weren't looking, I've gone ahead and cut our cakes in half. And I'm going to go ahead and start frosting this. What I'm going to do is start on the top of these. I'm not going to worry about the sides until I start stacking them. But I'll start putting my frosting on the top layers. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that, y'all. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and grab another layer here. And I'll lay it right across the top of this one. And I'll go ahead and put my icing, my frosting on top of this layer. And I'll go ahead and stack the other two as well, just like this. Guys, there it is. That is our four-layer cake, chocolate pecan cake. And it is absolutely awesome. I've got a little bite here. I'm gonna go ahead and try. So I'm gonna get up and do that now. I don't wanna have I don't want y'all to, to uh fret over it. Oh man. That is so good. The cakes aren't really sweet because the chocolate is really sweet. So they really accentuate the cake. There's a nice chew to the cake. It's not rubbery. There's pecans add a great texture element. And some, and well, in many ways, this this is like, it, it's almost like tasting a uh, maple syrup in here with the pecans. So, there we go, y'all. That is my, um. I guess I call it pecan chocolate cake recipe for the Stone Wave. Hey, thanks for watching. Thank y'all for coming by. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.